it's K1, K1, 3. And if you've seen lately, I've been uploading a little bit. Not as much as I used to, but hey, I'm still here. Uh, recently, I just uploaded Weather Report. And before that was the handle. And then Giorno Giovanna. And then a little while back was Jotaro Kujo. And I don't really got much time now because it's almost Christmas. And my time is kind of running out. But I do plan on still releasing Fugo Black, which is this video, and Mr. Black. I think that will end up wrap up the year. I do want to do Diver Down still, but haven't had a chance to work around that one. So today we will be reviewing Fugo Panicata, or I think it's Panicata Fugo, whatever. Virgin Black, and we have Mr. Black that just released this month. And then we have Abakio Black and Trish Black, but they're coming out like maybe first quarter of next year, March. I can't remember. Wow. These box colors look really good. Honestly, it's probably one of my favorite box colors. And I think they did good using the gold letters on it because it really, like, they combine pretty nicely. Uh, like always, the box poses on the back don't really look that promising. I feel like since they use Photoshop, they could make some crazier poses, but you know, I don't really run that. That's goofy in my opinion. Uh, this released with Weather Report back in August of this year, 2023, for around 8,000 yen. I can't remember exactly. Uh, only available right now in the aftermarket for around 6,000 to, 6, to 9,000 yen. Uh, I think it eventually will get a, a standard release, just not at the moment. So now Fugo has been released in three, no, four different colors now. The red from the anime, green, oh, red, oh, it's just three. I was thinking about Mista. So this is what you will be receiving inside the box. Uh, it's not a lot, but it's pretty cool. I think uh, they did really swell in including some decent uh, accessories for this figure. Uh, one thing that I did notice that they gave us two stand pegs for like uh, the figure and one for the mirror, which is pretty nice of them. Would have been dumb just to give us just a whatchamacallit, just one stand and then the mirror just kind of sit on the floor or whatever, ground level. Doesn't make sense. But yeah, this is what you get in the max. I will usually complain that the SAS doesn't come with three heads, but... I think they kind of made up for it with the accessories. No three heads, but hey, they gave him a watch. They gave him a stapler. They gave him a fork. Gave him a mirror. They gave you two stand pegs. Uh, they gave you even a stand pick for the plate, which is, you know what I'm saying? They kind of snapped. So this is all you get all here. So if you're missing something, tune in for this video to see what you got missing. Like I've always stated in most of my videos, I hate speech plates. But it is what it is, and it's the new norm for Medico, so we might as well just get used to it. And just like most SAS hands, they have okay detail, nothing too extravagant. But have I always said, there's not a lot of hands that do have a lot of detail in the figure world. All right, so the little fork from Fugo is when he stabs Naranch in the face, and the watch he wore it during the when he fought Elucio. And then the stapler is when he staples the wound of uh, Mister. I'm goofy. I was about to say he sta he staples his own wound. And the mirror looks okay, but it doesn't really reflect anything. But it kind of makes sense because why would they put that on there? It could possibly potentially break. So that wouldn't be a good idea from them. I will be including what the speech plate says, like the video. But it says here, let me see real quick if I can pull it up real quick. It says, then you die. Well, that was a Lucio. And Fugo goes, wrong. When you see my ability, you will be the one to die. 
that's what the speech play says, which is pretty neat. Swapping out the hand wasn't the funnest thing in the world, but... I think SAS has that nailed down pretty recently. I think I haven't had that many issues with swapping out hands. I mean, there was like maybe one or two hands where it was kind of, you know, had to put a little, little bit of elbow grease into there. But other than that, it was pretty smooth. I appreciate uh, Medicos for being pretty smooth when it comes to swapping out hands and making the holes on the hands correct size for the peg. So yeah, it's a good thing from Fugo. He got blessed. Swapping out the heads. Uh, it was okay. Like, And this is where SAS struggles. That's the second head does go in, but you don't hear the click. So it's kind of like, eh, you know. Here's finally a clip of the actually seeing the figure, you know. Uh looks great. Honestly, he's really good. I I, I don't know. Medicos always snaps on standard releases. I've been saying this for a while. I think I've been saying it since Whole Horse. There was a QC issue on Foo Fighter. FF Foof. Whatever. She had a little bit of issues, but not not the biggest thing in the world. Uh the biggest issue right here with uh, Fugo was in some of the holes, there's like white, gray, I'm guessing over paint or something they didn't paint correctly. Uh, it looks pretty bad. It doesn't really fascinate me that much. It's pretty bad. Uh, the skin on like the face is kind of looks like he needs a little bit of shading on both of the heads. Other than that, the heads are pretty nice. The yellow hair is a nice yellow. I dare, dare I must say it looks better than uh, Fugo Wonder Festival, the green one. I remember I had Fugo, the Wonder Festival one, but I had it like customized. I did, I bought it like that, and it was pretty nice. He customized it, the fellow, pretty nicely. The um, the what do you call it? The tie on Fugo is nicely painted. I like the little. I don't know if that's a strawberry. No, yeah, it's a strawberry. It's pretty nice. Nicely uh, painted, nicely sculpted. No complaints. He looks great, though. Hopefully, you guys buy all the blacks, because I think at this point, they're pretty much worth it, because you can get the whole gang in there. that legs don't really crunch in them much uh, those legs pretty much touch the back pretty easily which is nice uh, the bottom of the coat is like soft goods pretty nicely pretty nice another thing that the shoulders can actually move easily in most recent SES I swear and like they've been really stiff and you can you have to put a lot of pressure on those shoulders to turn the tie is soft goods also, so it could flex a little bit here and there. Give it a good movement. But yeah, this is the articulation. Not much to say. SAS aren't really known for their articulation. All in all, yeah, 
I understand this video was a bit hot for me. But hey man, I'm trugging along, buddies. All in all, he's a good figure, and I do think he's a great addition to your squad. <clears throat> Whatever you want to call him. Mafiosos, your mafia. Uh, I give him like a B. I think uh, a lot of part 5 figures aren't that great just because uh, no ab crunch usually messes it up for me. Uh, I guess because he doesn't have that much shading in his face. Kind of throws it off for me too. Uh, I wish it would have came with a third head. I would have been easily a, a figure. But other than that, that's the end of the video. And I'm pretty sure my next video is going to be Mr. Black. No promises. You know how I'd be. I'd be giving you guys these promises and never well i guess not promises that's just announcements that i never come through with it's just the way of the k1 k13 man anyways thanks for watching hope you guys stick around i've seen that seems like you guys have shout out to you guys you guys are great and if i don't upload the video before christmas happy holidays merry christmas and i'll see you guys in 2024 all right peace